Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is, are they the one? Is this person the one you're meant to be with? Are they the one for you? Do you give up? Do you let go? Or do you keep hoping? Do you keep going? Or do you stay? Do you leave? Um, we'll see, right? Before I get started, I always send out some healing. Take a deep breath with me. All right. Pile one, we are picking with an agate. It's a purple blue agate uh, with a little bullseye, which I, I love bullseyes in, in, um, crystals. I don't know why I do. I had a, um, a rhodonite that had a bullseye, but I lost it. I don't know what happened to it, but I love it. Anyway, this is blue aventurine for pile two and pile three is lapis lazuli. So take a moment, pick the pile you are most drawn to and, uh, we'll see. Are they the one? All right, pile one, if you chose this agate, then this one is for you. Let's get some cards. Justice, Four of Pentacles, The Moon, Page of Cups, and Nine of Cups. All right, the moon's here, so it's unclear, right? So what that means in this particular reading is it's up to you. Could they be the one? Sure, they could. Could they not be the one? Sure, they could. <laughs> um, it feels like this one is only offering you so much. They're not coming, they're not coming towards you with a full cup. It's like half a cup, maybe three quarters, but it's not, it's not overflowing with love. And that's, I think, what we all want in a relationship, right? I think that's what we're all looking for. Although the nine of cups on the end does give me hope that it could turn into that. It could turn into what you want. But I think right now, it's not enough. They're still holding on to something else. Now that could be somebody else, or it could be they're holding on to their singlehood because, you know, they still want to play and have fun, or, or maybe they're holding on to money. They, they don't want a uh, financial obligation or something. I don't know. There's something here that's making them come towards you with not a complete full overflowing cup of love, but there is an offer here and I think with the Nine of Cups, it's saying it could turn into more eventually. But we'll see. Let's get some more cards. So are they the one? I think this one right now, if you have to decide today, it's really up to you. A new beginning, a Swords, and Destiny. So regardless of what happens between the two of you, this meeting you guys coming together or, you know, thinking about coming together or this offer, whatever it is, was meant to happen. It was destiny that this was, this situation was put into your life. Now, does that mean you have to follow through with it? No, but you could, and it could possibly work out for you. But I'm, I'm getting the feeling like we're learning here. We're growing here. And yes, this could grow into something amazing and beautiful. But it also could be just a, a lesson that we need in on, on a, you know, on our journey here, another step in our journey. But I, I'm leaning towards that could be great with the Ace of Swords, a new beginning, a triumphant beginning. So I'm leaning a little bit more towards yes than I am no. But you guys know me, I'm a romantic. I want that cup overflowing. I want happily ever after. I want the fairy tale. This is not the fairy tale yet. It could develop into it, but it's not there yet. Snow Leopard. 
Take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. This is just saying, think about it. Think about what's really meant for you. Is this right for you? If it is, it's okay. If it's not, then maybe you should kind of like wait, wait and see. Set your sights higher. Mm, now I'm flipping. Increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. Well, did you get your answer? At your service, number 23. All right, let's see. At your service. I hope it's comforting to know that there is a big universal butler who is working behind the scenes, taking care of all the details, making sure every little thing is turning out exactly as planned. This butler is as loyal as Fido, determined as Diana, and as trustworthy as your own beating heart. So let, so you can let him carry the tray. So in other words, you can give it up to God. You could give it up to source. You could give it up to the universe. You could give it up to your angels or your ancestors or your loved ones. I don't have to go through the list every time. And I, I do, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Um, you don't have to give this up right away. If you really want this person in your life, you can wait and see, but don't settle for less from this person, you know, make sure that, you know, if your person is coming around and you're waiting for them, that they're going to be prepared to bring you a full overflowing cup. All right, don't settle for half a cup. You're worthy. You're worth them. You are worthy of more. All right, so just, uh, again, put it in Source's hands. Let's see and see. You know, tell Source, if this person is not meant for me, or if I shouldn't wait, if they're not going to give me what I want, then bring somebody else into my life. Let's see what happens. Earth Guardian, stay rooted and grounded. And grounded. So this is saying, like, don't get caught up in the daydreams of what this could be. Like, let's stay realistic here. Is this possible? Is this person capable of giving you what you want? If you think that they are, then hang in there. But if you don't think it's they're ever going to get to where you are or where you want them to be, then you might have to let go. Koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. So again, it's destiny. This, this situation that you're in or will be in is meant for you. You're meant to be in the situation. So A, it's either going to be a blessing or a lesson. A blessing or a lesson. Either way, it's, it's important for you to, to have this experience. Now you got the endurance card. And the endurance card is keep going. Don't give up. So they could be talking about this person, like keep going. Don't give up on this person. But they also could say is like, don't give up on love. Your person's out there. You're going to find it. Just feel worthy of it. And make sure you're, you're setting your standards, right? Make sure you're telling the universe what you want and what you're not going to settle for. And then keep going. Blessings and thanks, abundant universe. Okay, so let's let's read what Metatron wants to say in this. Let's see, Metatron's a little two cents here. Drawing this card shows that blessings are available to you now, and you are offered a full harvest. Do you feel worthy to claim it? That's the question, right? So, 
What does this mean? Does this mean that you're... I, I think it, it just means that you can have exactly what you want. All right? You can have it. It's available to you. Is this person capable of giving it to you? That's the question. And I think it's still up in the air. I still don't know if, if this person um, is capable of giving you what you want. I think time will tell. So my advice would be just to, you know, um, see where it goes. But if you're tired of waiting, of waiting to see where it goes, then move on. You're going to have some blessings coming in. So if it's not this person, it is somebody else. They are out there. You are meant to have what you want. You just got to get there. You got to find a way to get there. And you got to believe in yourself and feel worthy of it. All right. So let's, uh, if we want to pull initials, how about we do that? How about we pull initials and we, and we say, yeah, all right, if this person's initial comes out, then we know that we, we're going to give it a little bit more time. If it doesn't come out, then we move on. All right. That's set our intention for that. And get some, uh, uh, some letters here. It came out so we've got C M O R Q V W and X not too many and another R just so you know that's it. That's all that came out. So uh, you take that, how that resonates for you. And of course, you always do what's best for you. You, only you know what's in your heart. Only you know what's the right move for you. Only you know the lessons you chose to learn, right? So as always, do what's best for you. But this one is saying it could go either way. All right, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 2. If you choose the Blue Aventurine, then this one is your reading. Let's get your cards. Hermit. Four of Wands. Strength. Eight of Wands. Three of Wands. That's it. <laughs> um, hmm. All right. I'm kind of feeling like this person's committed to somebody else. I think that they are like your part of their mind like you're part of the equation I kind of feel like like you're in play but they're committed to somebody else hmm so the strength card is here right so the strength card is either telling you a have the strength to wait and see if this relationship, how that held their relationship until their relationship runs its course or have the strength and courage to move on. I kind of feel like they're committed to somebody else. Now with these cards, it could mean something else. It could mean that they're, that you're trying to decide if you want commitment from this person. But I'm really feeling the first scenario pretty strongly. 
So let's get some more cards and see. Um, you know, and of course, like, are they the one? The answer would be it's up to you. Like, if you want to wait for somebody, that something that may or may not happen, that's up to you. I, my advice would be have the courage to move on from it. But let's see. Hope. There's hope here. And the magician, somebody's manifesting it. Which I would assume it would be you, but you know what they say about assumptions. Um, I think this person wants to be with you too. I, I think they're entangled with somebody else that they can't just like drop and walk away from like it's it's more of an entanglement but i think they want you too actually i i think they really want you i'm getting chills that they they would love to be with you They think about you a lot. And they could be contemplating what's going on in their life right now. Contemplating the fact that they might have a commitment. And they're trying to find the strength and to go, courage to go towards what they really want. For some of you, it could be that they are, you know, thinking about making a commitment, wanting that next step with you and trying to find the courage to take it. And it might, you know, ends up coming in because there's hope here and there's hoping that, you know, you'll say yes and hoping that things will work and they might be manifesting you into their life. So it could be either scenario, but I don't know why I was feeling the first one so much i always want the second scenario i would want that for you so so badly but let's see trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation see it's leaning back to the first scenario where they're telling you here like see the situation for for what it is they're already involved is that something you want to get tangled up in Healing heart, you're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. I think this is just saying like, ah, maybe it's time to let this person go and try and heal that heart of yours and move on from this person because they're entangled. I, I know they have feelings for you. Right side up. It is now safe to unbuckle your seatbelt. Doesn't matter how it looks. You're on the right path. Unseen forces are working behind the scenes, smoothing out the bumps, righting all injustices. Any apparent blip is nothing but a reminder to pay attention, to say thank you. The scales are tipping in your favor. Everything is coming back to, into balance. It's time to trust that what goes down must come up. Well, looks like this could be working out for you, regardless of the situation. We've got the we've got the star and the ma and the magician, so I know you're manifesting it or they're manifesting it. So this could be coming to fruition for you. Transform and unveil your gifts, shapeshifter. 
Um, I think the situation is shape shifting into one that looks more of what you would want it to look like. The scales are tipping in your favor, just like the card said. I think this is starting to look like a situation that would be right for you eventually. See the big picture. Again, they you know they keep talking about seeing it clearly, wanting you to realize, um, you know what's really going on here. Stay grounded. Don't don't um, have unrealistic dreams or goals here. Freedom, independence. Yes, yeah, somebody needs to find their freedom. Somebody needs to find their independence. Maybe that's saying that's what's coming for them. Gold. Gold's a great card. Cup of replenishment. All right, let's see. What number is that? Number... Does that say 16? Yep. Number 16. No more playing small. You are here to shine and to excel at everything you choose to do. You are one of Metatron's angelic helpers on this earth. Hmm. This energy is sacred, and so you are, so are you. Receive its help now. Gold takes away any fear and any doubt you may have and replaces that with certainty, strength, and centeredness. The golden light confers protection too. You are always safe within it and able to receive as well as give positive light. You are eternally blessed and loved. The gold infinity symbol also links to soulmate union and twin flame partnership. So there could be a meeting of the minds here. You, know, you could be uh, coming together with this person. As always, it's up to you. You, got, you have to decide what you want, what's right. So use your own discernment here in this situation. But let's pull some initials. And what we're going to find out is if their initials come out, I think this is saying this is your person. If they don't come out, then I'm, I'm thinking that maybe you need to find your own freedom and find somebody else. But we'll see. Again, it doesn't matter if they come out or not, that you still have to do what you want for you. A lot more came out this time than in pile one. Let's see. Let me move these over slightly. We have C, D, G, H, I, K, L, M, O, P, S, T, U, Z. Oh, you can't even see half of them. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's move them down. C, D, G, H, I, K, L, M, O, P, S, T, U, and Z. All right, pile two. That's what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the Lapis Lazuli, here we go. Let's get some cards for you. Seven of Wands. Six of Wands. Judgment. 
tower, Ace of Cups. <laughs> kind of feels like this is a redo. <laughs> if you're asking about somebody who um, maybe, you know, things fell apart with them in the past and now they're back again and you want to know, are they the one? Is this somebody that you should, um, you know, spend the rest of your life with or whatever, or even take a chance on? Um, that's, it definitely feels like it's it's somebody from the past coming back, um, trying again with new love, a new a new start here, victory after the battle. I think they're just reminding you to stand your ground. Don't let this person do to you what they did before, or don't let the same situations happen. Don't get yourself involved with that. If the energy is changed, then you can take them back. But if they, it's the same old, same old, then why would you do that? Why would you do that to yourself? So I really do feel like this is somebody coming back around and you're wanting to know if this is the one. So if that's your story, then this is your pile. Two of wands, uh, the waiting game, and justice. So I think this could be that, you know, you're waiting to see. You're waiting to see if this person's going to act right. You're waiting to see if it's going to work out. So it's like you, you kind of have hope, but not too much that you're going to get crushed again. Because I think the first time was enough. So play it cool until you know for sure. But justice is coming in saying that you're going to get justice for the situation. So that, you know, you guys are going to come back into alignment and things are going to work. So it's possible. It's possible that this one's the one, but we're going to have to get some more cards, okay? Octopus. Practice shape shifting by altering, by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms. Uh, well, you know, octopuses are smart, right? And sometimes they know how to play the game. They know how to become something to get what they want. Be careful of that. I, I would, I worry about that a little bit here. Make sure that you stand your ground and that this person has changed. Wait, don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. So there you go. Make them work for it. You know, and it, it's not a game here. It's just, They've got to come right. They've got to be who you need them to be in order for you to take them back. This is not, you know, a great situation. Whenever somebody from the past or somebody who hurt us comes back, if we still love them, of course we want them back in our lives. But there, we also run the risk of them doing it all over again. And nobody wants that. So, again, don't rush into this. Because we need to see if this person's playing you. Talking smack. 26. Let's see. Let's see what talking smack is about. That small thinking you've been doing, get over it. There is no reason to compare yourself to others because there is no other like you. The only person capable of putting you down is you. So all that remains are three little questions. Why, why, why? So I think this is saying if this person has shifted blame to you, you know, I cheated because you did this or I, I was, you know, I did something wrong because of you. Um, no, 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 absolutely not. So. Again, this is saying, be wary. Be wary of this. Broken arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. So this is saying, like, you guys can be at peace. You don't have to be in, you know, argument mode or, or you know, have anger towards this person. You could still forgive this person, still be at peace with this person, but not allow them to do what they did to you before. 
you know, not allowing history to repeat itself. So make peace with your situation. If this person's coming at you with, um, you know, a full cup of love and they're, they're, you really truly feel like things will be different this time, then yes, the answer is yes. But make sure. Don't rush into it. Make sure. Because I kind of feel like your person's capable of saying things they need to say in order to reel you back in. And the last thing you need is to be hurt again. So just be careful. I'm not saying no. I'm just saying be careful. Be cautious. Love is all around you. Well, maybe they are. Maybe they have changed. Maybe they do love you. And a guide, trustworthy ally. ally. So, this is saying this is somebody you can trust. Air, number 13. Let's see. Hopefully this will give you the right answer because... I'm I'm weary of weary of this. We're, we're not weary. I am I worry about this. With every breath in and out, you are given the chance to renew and replenish your body, getting rid of old stale energy, and purifying all that needs to be purified here. You've been feeling heavy or weighed down by the pressure of this. Set your sights higher for the future. Sometimes all that is needed is a fresh look at the situation. Breathe, release, fly, and soar. So what does that mean for you, though? It means you have to feel right about your decision. And if you're questioning this, then maybe that's your answer. Because somebody who was absolutely right for you, you wouldn't be questioning it. But again, you have to do what's right for you. And if you really, truly believe this person can change and that they are trustworthy, then nobody's going to judge you for following your heart. At least not me. <laughs> I always want you to follow your heart and do what's right for you. All right, so let me let me pull you some initials, and this is what we're gonna this is what we're setting our attention for. If your person's initial or initials come out, then give this person a chance. If they don't, I would be very careful with this situation. Still do what's right for you, but I would be extra cautious. All right, let's see. A, B, E, H, K, N, P, Q, S, V, W and Y. All right, pile three. That's what I got. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Until next time. Love and light.